On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring split billing, which is the ability for you to mix and match client or firm billing for each of your client's products. Here's what to expect. You'll see the update in action, and we'll then be joined by ProAdvisor correspondents Terrell Turner and Michael Lee, who weigh in on how this helps them price their firm services. Hey, Pro Advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. Currently, you have to choose between either your firm or your clients paying for all of their connected QuickBooks Online subscriptions. But we heard that you want to have more flexibility and control over how to bill, especially for products like QuickBooks Payroll and Time, which have variable fees. Enter split billing. Now through QuickBooks Online Accountant, you can choose by product who pays for the subscription and fees. This includes QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Online Payroll, and Time with bill pay coming later this year. And now for the fast facts. Split billing is available to all QuickBooks Online Accountant users who have access to their firm's billing and subscriptions. You can access split billing through visiting QBOA, then going to add client. This was launched in July to all users in the US. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So with that, it's my pleasure to welcome Abby to the show. Abby, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks Jacqueline, so happy to be here. So to jump into the actual experience, there's a few ways that you'll be able to do this in your product. Um, so you'll navigate to QuickBooks Online and you'll actually see a couple of changes. You may have already noticed this in your subscriptions and billing, um, but we've now consolidated all of your clients into one tab. And from here, you would be able to see split billing um, and who's split versus who's only billed to your firm versus who's only billed to the clients. Um, and the great thing about this is we have added a couple of quick uh, shortcuts so that you can filter down your list and very quickly see who is on split billing, for example. And so you would see that here um, in your subscriptions and billing tab, um, you would be able to tell again who the um, who's actually paying for that subscription, whether it's billed entirely to the firm, entirely to the client, or potentially under that split billing model. How you would add a product on split billing um, can be done in two ways. The first way is when you're adding a new client. So this would be your typical QuickBooks Online Accountant add client experience, where when you're going through this, in the past, you could only select one of three options, bill my firm, bill my client, either with a direct discount or revenue share. The great thing about this new ability is now you can choose to split the billing and as you can see reflected here for QuickBooks Online versus Payroll and Time, you would choose the billing option for each subscription. So again, you can choose to bill my firm under the ProAdvisor discount with uh, QuickBooks Online. And then for payroll, let's say you don't want to handle that and you want your client to pay for it, you would select a different billing type. So let's say you could choose to bill my client on the direct discount or the revenue share option um, where the client carries the billing um, instead of you, your firm carrying the billing for, uh, for that subscription in particular. The other way that you can do this is again in that subscriptions and billing tab in QBOA you would go through and add payroll. And same thing, you'll see the three different options reflected here. Um, so you can either bill my firm under the ProAdvisor discount, you can bill my client with a direct discount, or you can bill my client and the firm receives a revenue share, um, keeping in mind that this is only available for any new subscriptions on payroll or time. For existing customers who may already have, let's say, QuickBooks Online Advanced and QuickBooks Payroll, you can also choose to split the billing after the fact. So if you have already set up your client on um, you know, firm billing 
And now you're saying, you know what? I think it's better if you handle the cost for payroll, um, then you would be able to go in and for existing customers, choose to transfer the billing to them. And that's the other way that you can do this for, again, for existing customers. So both of these flows showed you how you can split the bill for both new customers um, as well as existing uh, clients that you're working with. So really excited to share this feature. I know this has been something accountants have, have asked us for for a long, long time. Um, and we're hoping that this will help simplify your monthly bill just a little bit more um, as you uh, continue to work with us in QuickBooks Online Accountant. Awesome, thank you so much, Abby. We'll turn now to ProAdvisors Terrell and Michael for them to weigh in. Terrell, Michael, thank you so much for being on the show. So happy to get to hang out with you and talk about split billing. Awesome, absolutely, thanks for having me. Okay, so as you heard about in current state or in previous state, um, it's really been this all or nothing proposition where either your firm has to pay for all of the connected apps or the client has to pay for all of their connected apps. So tell me, Michael, a little bit more about why this has been kind of painful. Yeah, when when we talk about billing for our customers, especially the, the apps and the software that we use to serve them, oftentimes it's a selling tool because if we want to be able to close on that client, sometimes the ability for us to absorb the cost of their software and make it a part of our service package instead uh, gives it to the client a, a view of us that where we're increasing value for them and they're not having to worry about managing the billing, they can see both our services and um, the software we use with QuickBooks all packaged into one fee. The challenge becomes when that client wants to sign up for more software after we've started working with them and we didn't originally agree to absorb that piece of software or when it comes to, when it comes to like things like payroll or timesheets or QuickBooks Time, you're charged on a variable basis per user or per employee that's using the product. And oftentimes, the speed at which our clients grow doesn't align with the rate in which we can increase prices um, on our side. So it makes administration of the, the billing of the software very cumbersome for my billing teams. So much so that they request regularly, can we just have all of our clients pay QuickBooks directly versus us? handling the service charge for them. Um, them, but them not realizing on the sales side, the sales team is using it as a sales opportunity to really close a deal. So that's why it's a big deal for firms and firms like mine, because being the ability to be able to then go and actually split the building um, gives us another option in this whole process. Yeah, I think from when we think about it strategically, because I mean, when you first see it and many firms may be the same way, like, oh, split billing. But when you take a step back and you think about it, like it's a very big deal because as I spend a lot more time on like sales and marketing and when you start getting a gauge of how the expectations that clients are having and a lot of times the expectation is if you start off paying for something, they're going to expect it. all the stuff that they add on is just going to be included. And I think it makes, as Michael was saying, that sales conversation become a lot easier to say, hey, you want to add this. Now we can say, do you want it to be built directly to you or do you want it to be built to us? So now if you want it to be built to us and we raise our prices, it, it be, it's not an uncomfortable conversation anymore. It's not like you're just trying to slip something in on the back end. I think this split allows us to have a helpful conversation. Okay, so perfect segue, helpful conversation. With split billing now being in the picture, I think firm owners like yourselves will have this opportunity to go back and talk to their existing clients about their billing relationship or for those new clients have different types of conversations with them. So how does this now split billing sort of give you the ability to elevate the conversation at this important moment in the client life cycle? Terrell, let me let me start with you on that one. Yeah, so I would say the first thing is if I'm going back to a client and we're, we've been paying for some expenses is I would say is, hey, we can set this up where we can build this portion directly to you. Now, what that's going to mean for you is the rate of increase in our prices may not be as high as they were in the past. 
And so for a client that's trying to manage their expenses, like that sounds like a good deal because they're now going to have a set fee between them and into it as opposed to wondering like, well, how much of the price increase do we have to bake in to cover it? Well, now that we can clearly split it, it gives them more visibility. And I think it also makes the conversation a bit more of a win-win. Oh, I love that win-win. How about you, Michael? Does this um, enable you or your team to have more strategic conversations with clients about billing? Yes, it, it actually allows us to isolate the different service lines uh, and, and tie them to the different software packages that we're purchasing from QuickBooks on behalf of the client or that we're having directly billed to the client. And so instead of saying it's all or nothing, we either have everything absorbed with us and or have the client pay for everything, we can isolate QuickBooks Online's charging to our bookkeeping services. We can isolate payroll charging to our payroll services, and we can isolate QuickBooks time charging to our timesheet and people management services. So that that conversation allows more variability. It also lets us understand, you know, based on the client, where what do they value? Do they value us handling a lot of those fees and and monitoring those so they don't have to see them and they want to see them packaged um, at, at, in our bundle of services? Or do they want to be able to monitor and see, okay, how are price increases affecting them? And what is the actual cost of software um, to administer these services? And if they value that, then we can obviously do direct bill now on each of the different types of products uh, through QuickBooks. Well, I love that this allows you to better serve your clients, meet them where they're at, and trail, as you put it, a win-win situation for everybody, or maybe a win-win-win if we include Intuit in the mix. So triple win with split billing now in the picture. <laughs> Michael Trell, thanks so much for hanging out on the show and for sharing your invaluable time and insights. We appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching this episode of In The Know. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.